if you could listen as a collective consciousness to 30 days of good news about your economy it would become a global reality you don't have to wait for them to figure that out it can become a personal reality you see you don't have to wait for anyone to figure out you don't have to wait for the manifestation that you've been observing to improve before your mood improves in fact that's backwards of what deliberate creation is if you can figure out how to improve your mood your improved mood will put you in a vibrational resonance with the broader point of view and when your personal point of attraction harmonizes with the point of view of the source within you you have a point of attraction that is so powerful nothing can keep it from being but if you let your point of attraction get separated from that larger view there's not enough action in the world you cannot buck your own current you see so now we're going to start at the beginning of this just briefly we know you've heard it from us but in light of what you just heard us say now we're going to rework that into the picture that you've been hearing before so you were source energy before you came into these physical bodies and the larger part of you still is source energy now many of you want to say blah 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 I don't care about that part of me I don't even remember that part of me don't talk to me about that part of me and we say we have to talk to you about that part of you because that's your source that's your power that's your clarity that's your wellness that's your energy stream and you want that to be your point of attraction if you're running around in this physical body and your point of attraction is just based upon the stuff you think all day you're in deep doo-doo <laughs> because you watch CNN you listen to people complaining you watch the evidence when you let reality as it stands be the dominant reason that you're offering the vibrations that you are well then what happens is you launch rockets all day long but you don't allow yourself to become the manifested receiver of those rockets and so life just gets harder and harder and you just get on and on but when you understand that every rocket that you launch causes the larger part of you to become more and it is your unequivocal desire to become a vibrational match to that energy are you getting what we're saying we're going to start over because we really want you to hear this so you were source energy before you came into this physical body yeah 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 you know <laughs> and the larger part of you still remains source energy all right we'll accept that Abraham and here you are physically focused mixing it up now we're not for a moment implying that as you are physically focused that you're leaving behind all of that source energy in fact in the beginning you don't leave it behind in the beginning you are that source energy your parents and those who surround you sort of grind it out of you uh, over time as they encourage you or force you to face reality but that larger part of you remains uh, to some degree always no matter how much you pinch it off by facing reality so we'll start again you were source energy before you came into this physical body and the larger part of you still remains as this non-physical source energy so here you are in this physical body sifting and sorting through the contrast and coming to greater clarity about the things that you prefer launching these rockets of desire and the source within you becoming each one of these new requests so that there is a vibrational version of you always always in existence a vibrational version of you that is your guiding feeling it is your guiding light a vibrational version of you that if you will decide that you will seek resonance if you will seek residence if you will seek alignment with that now here's the part that we have not said to you in any way near as clear a way as we're going to say it to you right now are you ready law of attraction is a powerful law that responds to vibrational frequencies it's the same law that makes you set your radio dial at a frequency that matches the broadcast in other words if you don't sync up with these frequencies then you don't have communication so it's the same thing law of attraction is responding to your frequency and the people that you rendezvous with even the mood they're in when you talk to them everything in your life is about law of attractions response now we know you've been hearing about it law of attraction is a term that is well used and mostly misunderstood around this planet today law of attraction is the engine that is the reason that all rendezvous of all kinds takes place it's the reason that you rendezvous with everything 
everything, even your cells in your body are rendezvousing because of this powerful law of attraction. Because friends, you are vibrational like your radios, whether you know that you are or not. You are frequency, you are energy, you are vibration and law of attraction has your number or better said has your frequency. And is dishing up things to you that match it. So if you want to know what your frequency is, look at your friends, look at your clothes, look at your body, look at your house, look at your money, look around and what's evident or what you are deciphering from life is all on that same frequency. So, oh, let's see, we forgot what we we're going to tell you. <laughs> so this is the part that we really, 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 really want you to hear. So. You hear it about law of attraction, yes? You sort of get this law of attraction thing. You accept law of attraction. This is what we want to put to you in a way that you will always remember. Do you want your point of attraction to include the energy that creates worlds and the source within you? Or do you want your point of attraction to be out here on the raw and ragged edge apart from it? Because that's really what this conversation is all about. This is what the art of allowing has always been about. What vibrational stance am I practicing, which equals the point of attraction that I have established to which law of attraction is responding? If I'm afraid or ornery or blaming or guilty, then those emotions are my indicator that my point of attraction does not include my source. Because it's a very different frequency. Negative emotion means your point of attraction is screwy. Your point of attraction is not allowing all these things that you want. But more important, all of these things that you have already become. That's why it feels the way that it does. So the reason that we want to put it to you in these terms is because we think it would be a wonderful thing if you could sort of start at the base of your understanding and make a new decision that you want to attract to your manifestation from your broader inner being source energy in the vortex point of attraction. Yes.